Welcome back guys and Delphacer here and night two of Guardians of the Galaxy. This game's pretty awesome. And yeah. Let's get it. That's supposed to mean. It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Hmm. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? Yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. All right. Let's see, uh, did that, that, um, can't do nothing with that. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right, I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Root. <laughs> You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Hmm. Oh no, he's laughing. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Hmm. So, I had two items that I believe I can talk to them about. Oh, sorry, I gotta finish reading this. Hmm.
Nova Lord. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What, what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes, mostly I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Uh, he's probably like washing the toilet or something with my toothbrush. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flarkin fine. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I, I picked up an item that he's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to have like a conversation over. So I wonder when that will kick in. You covered. I doubt even you could break that. I ain't got no units, but I can upgrade your stuff if you want. What is this? See if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty seven units? We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan and reconsider my initial proposal oh no not fin fang foom again yes we should go after fin fang foom drax there are easier ways to get paid like what about selling gamora's crap what oh come on you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us i mean don't tell me they ain't worth nothing the quarantine zone was always holding out on my on this figurines are not knickknacks huh, team's in trouble and you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice for the mock i will star sacrifice system. your head and guys i think we should hear our group for once i am Groot. he says we should Combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? 
Thing is, with Groot, he is the last of his kind. So technically, I would have to go with Groot. Be the most convincing, but Rocket's also both like one of a kind and a monster in general, I guess. Who's more useful in a fight at the moment? Okay, yeah, Groot. Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're going to bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction we're like a hundred clicks from her base you know how much I like scoping nope okay. next time I'm flying are you sure the leafy one is ready for this nope he'll be fine don't you get all gloomy right now don't help because you're constant complaining, Des. <laughs> you you are complaining about the. Sh I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow, Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tor. I don't snore that loud. Yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kinda looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Hmm. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a. What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand, she was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line, that I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know... What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard her die, Quill. 
Oh, the rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. Then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk. A few bad memories. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Okay, so that's how you just gotta repick it back up and yeah. Hey Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> first thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. 
I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around. <laughs> Those scaly bastards didn't stand a chance. Play so take it, that's it. This is gonna take one. But you think I'm glad we landed this spot in the fortress? Cheer up, Rodin. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. <laughs> Calm down yourself. You love rain. Mark Clark. Oh, yeah. cool. Ah, oh, Groot. Why? I take it he used it. Some money if we'd stop by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Positivity? Okay. How? Did I not say? We're on some crazy to hurricane the person who took so my on our way to squeeze our last chance at freedom out of some mythical or something, lady, yogurt. If I catch you, you will slowly dismember yeah, too, you and it. Scatter the pieces across the galaxy. Miss Natch Drax. Actually, looks like a G almost. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. Yeah, I'm about it. We will humiliate doing? ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. There he is. Eh, uh, looks broken. Hey, group. Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay, and it is okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way, I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know. Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, 
I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I'm Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm Groot. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. Y you must have been lost too, before Rocket and, and us. I am... Groot. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. I really feel like I missed Drax's item while going through all that. That's what I want to do after this mission. I feel like we should have made those conversations with him or something like that. This fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predicting? Contraxia's got nice weather. Actually, I don't think I saw this over here. Okay, so this is just like the pod or something. This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It is not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. Oh boy. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Oh, did I get more pads on it since I upgraded it? Oh, wrong button. No. 